Shalom fellow members of the Way Fellowship of the Triad. My name is Bruce Chapman and my topic for the day is day number 37, Prayer Contracts. Early on in this segment, the author states that the purpose of prayer is not really about getting what we want. Rather, the real purpose of prayer is to learn what God wants and what his will in our life is. A little bit later, the author states that people think the goal is the goal. But truly, in God's economy, the process is the goal. It's not about the great things that we can do for God. It's about the great things God does in us and through us. Furthermore, the author states, if we are praying in the will of God and for the glory of God, then agreeing with others in prayer is like having your prayer contract notarized. But what does this mean? What is the first half of that statement? Praying in the will of God. I believe it's simply knowing your purpose and praying about that purpose. In my life, I can remember taking a class, the School of Discipleship, and watching a video. And in that video, 15 people were interviewed. Only one of those people had any sense of purpose in their life. And only one other person even mentioned God. I can think back to early times in my own life when, if I asked what my goals were, I would simply say, money being no object, let me travel the world making pretty pictures on someone else's dime. Or, money being an object, I just want to become a mechanical engineer and make pretty pictures on the side. But, again, the process is important, and in the process of God changing my heart in through prayer, fasting, and meditation, I came up with a different philosophy, a different set of goals, the ministry of photography. Simply stated, <clears throat> photograph, photography as a ministry includes making a picture pretty or moving enough that it would start a conversation with others in which I can glorify God. I also realize that sometimes it's really not about the picture, but just, again, in the process of making a picture, that God puts me in the right place at the right time to be able to share the gospel with someone or to minister to them. In simple terms, it's all about sharing God's love with the photographic community. So, having defined what my purpose was, what's the next step? Well, the next step can be praying, but more importantly, not just praying by ourselves. As the author states, it's important that we find a group of believers, believing friends that can join us in prayer. Then our prayers are not just added together, but they're multiplied. And that power of multiplication brings many benefits. What are those benefits? Well, You'll have to read day number 37 to find out. In the meantime, God bless you, and I urge you to take time, quiet time, to have God reveal to you what your purpose is and to be able to pray in that purpose. Love you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.